Yep. Good morning. It was a short night. Um, this morning we got uh, lots of window. Well, windows. We've got our green bin, our green rigs, uh, green rings have showed up that we're planning on putting uh, those bins on. I shouldn't say rings, hopper rings. Well, those look pretty. The back one's for our 7,000 bushel bin and the other one's for our 5,000 bushel bin. Stop, Daryl. Kendall, right here. Yeah, I know you've been hitting there the whole time. It's fine. I, I'm wondering whether can I. When he drives it ahead, he's gonna drop here. He's gonna drop. Yeah, so he'll be okay. I think it'll be fine. And if we push down right. Okay. Yeah. Number one, Kate. Now, uh, now, very slow. And the problem is with front and loaders, they go forward, right? Yeah. So, uh, Daryl, go down very slow together. We should probably move. Dylan, just be careful. Be ready to. Yeah, you go. Down, Peter. Yep. Down, Peter. Yep, you're doing good. Yep. That one doesn't have a self-leveling. Okay, now down, Daryl. It ain't going anywhere. Down, Peter. Just go down. You're fine. It ain't. You're out. Okay. <clears throat> Back up. That's the big one. There you go. Daryl down. Yeah, you're good. You're off. Back up, Daryl. Okay, we move this trailer or this hopper closer to the back. Now we can back it into place. This is the easy part. The harder part is uh, we'll be next summer. We'll have to, the plan is to lift up the two bins and put them on here. That's going to be a bit more work. Perfect, done.
on, Peter. Stop. Okay, you're going good now. You're good. Go, Peter. He's down already. <coughs> What? You're fine. Keep going down. There, now back up. Keep backing up. Done. There we go. All right, we're running a sample here. We're dropping the straw in this field, and we uh, so we slowed our chopper down, and we put a different kind of spreader on just to help try and spread the straw out. And to me, this looks pretty good. I look uh, look forward to trying the baler out on this. are going the moisture was at 15.7 that sample I took away uh, since then Daryl's monitor has dropped like almost a full point to a point and a half so first two loads we're gonna take away and put into a dry bin or a, a bin with the aeration floor and then after that we're going to uh, we're gonna last two loads off this field or whatever's left we're gonna put into uh, into the bins here but uh, Typically our straw, coming out of a gleaner combine, is horrible. No baler would want to see it. But we've done some uh, modifications. And I think this is going to be awesome to pick up. It's nice and wide. It's not too high. Last year I had a problem of it flipping my belts on my baler because the straw was like... Uh, almost three feet high so my tractor could barely drive over it and then it was only like two feet narrow so it would flip my belts because I couldn't uh, I was having problems because it was just too wide too high so we put different spreaders on and uh, lowered them and slowed them right down and now we've got a nice wide path so I think that's gonna be nice to pick up combine over there that's the one Dylan's running that's the one we had uh, fires in yesterday and we kind of figured out what we think is going on but now that we're dropping straw now that we're dropping straw there isn't nearly as much um, straw getting spread around going up into the engine compartment we're going to keep our eye on it because it's a little scary uh, when you're having to be thinking about fire all the time it's going to get a lot busier we're uh, we don't have much left here and my cousin, Kenny, <clears throat> he's helped us out. We do, we used to do lots of stuff back and forth, but over the years we've just kind of, our farms have uh, kind of been, become more independent. And uh, I got him, what the most? <laughs> anyway. Our farms have become, become uh, less or more independent and we don't do quite as much together, but there are still times that we do uh, combine seeding and different things together. So he's caught up. He's got like 560 acres of canola, but it's not gonna be ready for, I'm thinking another week to 10 days. So he's gonna come in and help us, help us. And then if we get all caught up, then I guess we'll go in, uh, hopefully we can go in and help him clean up his canola. So we got that, and we got another combine coming uh, later today. It won't be when we're on this field. It should be arriving at our next field here shortly, and uh, we're kind of looking forward to seeing what that thing can do. So, yeah, hopefully we can have some good days. Hopefully no combines burn, and we can keep the fires uh, under control. So when we can control how it spreads that straw, just by slowing our chopper down or our spreader in the back here. I kind of made my own spreader. And I'm almost thinking 
that we're spinning it a bit much, but... When we get to the end here, I'm gonna... around here with Dylan. He's got his boots off, so I'll let him keep his boots off. And I told him I'd quickly do a check in here just to make sure. Just to make sure we don't have anything going on. So what we did was we turned our reverse fan off for now. This field got good and dry all of a sudden. Uh, winds picked up, humidity really dropped. So we're gonna fill the whatever bins we have off this field. Whatever grain we get off the rest of this field is gonna go into these bins. And uh, yeah, it shouldn't take long. Having the third machine in, we will uh, be hammering off some acres. Pretty good here. Definitely makes hauling a whole lot easier because the truck doesn't have to go in and out. It just stays right here. Herself a ideal 9T with a 45 foot gearing off. So looks like it's arrived. Let's see if I can scare Will. 
you know what you're doing? We're just about done that field and we gotta work our way here, so. Alright, now we're just gonna put in some cover plates. Oh, it's all good. Hello, how are you? Did you guys drive this thing out? No, we got dropped in this morning. Oh, okay. What are we going in? all right it's been a bit of a rat race i'm not gonna lie for the last couple hours between getting trucks lined up getting combines running Kendall, what are you running for your engine load right now 65. all right so daryl's running that one Will Penner from Little Morton. He's uh, teaching them the ropes of that thing. It's been just a hectic day trying to get everything lined up. And we, uh, Peter's the only one trucking. We're only trucking half a mile, but uh, uh, he's got to be able to keep up. My, my niece Mackenzie, she's running uh, crazy trying to keep up with uh, carting and it's just kind of busy. We're hoping to get some sort of a system. Yeah, leave some space between us, and then once you have that cleaned up on the way back, then you'll just take the path beside me, I guess. Uh, get a system on how we're gonna run with four combines, because we got three different sizes. The gleaners are running 40s, the Case 8120 is running I at 35. I made that too wide. And uh, the Fent is running uh, 45 foot. So it'll be interesting. I'm thinking we're gonna have to go around and around, but uh, we'll see how it goes. My brother-in-law is coming out. He's uh, caught up with his combining, so he's gonna come out and he's gonna run combine or help us out tomorrow to try and get this week cleaned up. The weather does look good, but you never know. And uh, like I said earlier, my cousin Kenny, he's all caught up. Birthday, Kendall. I'll follow you. And, uh, oh, look at that. Just like I say that, and I'm getting, I'm getting raindrops. You never know whether you're going to get rain, I guess, because there was no forecast for rain and, <laughs> and drops. Let's take a slow say two five just because it's a bumpy enough here. Two five? Two point five if that works. And uh, yeah, we'll see what we can get done. So far we've done well we've probably done close to a hundred acres off of this uh, quarter section. Sorry, don't, so I don't we'll see whether, um, you to reply again. I just, uh, your radio is fuzzy for me. We started this field uh, just before supper. It's all good. And, uh, yeah. Well, red combine zone. I'm back in the yard with the gleaner. The other gainers over there and the fence just pulled in. Be good. I'm just gonna all drive out. We had a good evening, knocked that quarter off, so tomorrow we're uh, we got a half section of wheat left, so if we can keep these four machines going it uh, let's hope we can finish that. That should be doable. But uh, yeah. Hope you enjoyed it. We got another thing to show for tomorrow. May have been seen in today's video, not sure. Um, but yeah there's uh, that one more thing got brought out uh, that we will be trying out in the morning. So I look forward to doing that while the guys get the combine ready. So hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for taking the time to watch and have yourself a good one.